I might have found out who Eli Hale's mother is for Team Wolf the movie. If you guys have any questions throughout the video, make sure to comment them down below and I'll make sure to respond to you. I also might have found out who the second villain is, it's kind of like a two-in-one theory here, but either way, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. I haven't made this video in the past, but I'm gonna just get straight to the point, Jennifer Blake. Now, out of all the villains in the show, Jennifer Blake is the only logical person to really be Eli Hale's mother. For starters, every other villain practically died or became an ally towards the pack. Also, Jennifer Blake fits up in the timeline for when Eli Hale would be conceived, and Jeff Davis has changed canon so he can make it that Eli Hale was actually in Jennifer Blake's uterus. That sounds so weird to say, but you know what I mean. She was actually pregnant at the time when his she was on screen. And I know what you're thinking, well, hoax. Jennifer Blake died, we saw her throat get slashed by Deucalion and Peter. Let me remind you, Carly pretty much put her through a meat grinder and she was able to survive, and not to mention she was right there next to the Nematon. If she was able to survive Deucalion's throat slashing and then crawl all the way to the Nematon, what says she can't survive Peter's? Also the fact that she killed so many people should have that much power to be able to actually heal herself in a way. And the fact that her body or name was never mentioned after that I kind of find a bit shocking. I'm pretty sure Scott would have went back to the warehouse and be like, oh fuck, Jennifer's not there anymore. And she's the only person in the timeline of Team Morph, the MTV show, that fits up to be Eli Hill mother. I heard so many people say, well, it's Kate Argent. Kate Argent is the mother. Clearly, it's Kate. For starters, Kate was never pregnant on the time that Eli should have been born, or at least conceived. She was locked up by the Calaveras, so again, she couldn't have sex while there with Derek if she's locked up. And in season four, when she took Derek again, that is way, that is too far in the future for Eli Hale to be conceived or born. And for the second villain, she also fits this very, very well, more so than being Eli Hale's mother. For starters, she can touch mountain ash, so theoretically, she should be able to touch the mountain ash box that the Nagitsune is trapped in. And for starters, the Nagitsune delivers lines like this. You want retribution. Against him. His friends. You want retribution pretty much means you want revenge. Who would want revenge more on Scott than anybody else on the whole entire show? I mean, Monroe is a close, but realistically, it would be Jennifer Blake. Think about it. Jennifer Blake had Derek in her hand. She thought that she had him on her side, but then Scott McCall goes and runs to Derek and tells him the truth. Then Derek turns on Jennifer. And think about it like this. If Jennifer was actually pregnant at the time, then she's having her boyfriend and the father of her kid turn on her. And I mean, she also tried to kill Lydia. She tried to kill the parents. She even tried to kill Scott and even Cora Hale, but failed and then even got killed by the Killian and Peter. So theoretically, again, she would be the most character to want revenge against Scott McCall and his friends. I have some screenshots even backing up that Jennifer Blake could potentially be in this movie. But hear me out. For, as a writer, you have to understand why Jeff Davis would do this. Think about it like this, right? Jennifer Blake has the baby. She drops it off at Derek's doorsteps and runs away. Derek goes, oh shit, my kid. The baby in, raises it, all that good stuff. Jennifer Blake then goes to the Nagitsune because she'll definitely know what that is. I mean, she's a rock. She knows all the things supernatural. I mean, even even Deaton knew what the Nagitsune was and what a fox was. I mean, he's a druid. A Durak is just a, an evil druid. So she would know what the Nagitsune is. And plus that she also knew Derek Hale, meaning that she would know the Hale Vault. And the Triskelet box in the movie looks like it was kept in the Hale Vault. This is a smart way to keep Isaac out of the movie for Jeff Davis because he couldn't get Isaac to be in the movie or he could be doing an Andrew Garfield, I don't know. But it looks like the box is in Hale Vault, meaning that she knew of a Hale and she could potentially know of a Hale Vault and she knows what the Nagitsune is, it will make sense sense to go to that and set her free to get all the revenge on Scott McCall. And also think about it like this, right? The Nagitsune is clearly going to possess Eli Hale. I mean, just look at the scene here. If you want to know my theory about that, click this video right here. It'll explain more, but I think Eli Hale might be the Nagitsune's host. If Jennifer Blake has a kid as the Nagitsune host, she'll be like, hold on a second, big chief. Hold on, my little my little mummy. W w hold on a second. Back it on up. That's, that's my kid you're possessing here, all right? Then she'll get mad at the Nagitsune for doing that. Then potentially come some anti-hero type thing and join the McCall pack. Well, not join it, but like help them in Away. I mean, it, it sounds far stretched, but just look at this, right? Look at this character. I said for months, this is not Allison. It can't be Allison, all right? And I have some more evidence backing this up. I mean, look at this character's boots. This is not Allison's shoe at all. And Allison's only had one costume throughout the whole entire movie. I've looked at all the behind the scene footage. They also blacked out the character in this scene here. So it's clearly someone they're trying to hide. And if you look at the character here and compare it to the Durag, the hood, the boots, the similar attire, the character's also white. It kind of makes sense that character is the Durag. Or it isn't. I don't know. Either way, that is my theory for you guys. If you guys Guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions comment them down below or even join my discord server it's a great way to make friends talk about team wolf the vampire diary supernatural wolf pack a lot of shows and topics to talk about and it's also a friendly server thank you guys for giving me your time and day and listening to my theory stay safe stay hydrated and as always have an amazing day it's been your boy hoax it's about it see ya